all for, for coming to this beautiful center and having this, uh, this opportunity to impart this knowledge on you. And uh, what we do as the National Schools, as the uh, School Safety Advocacy Council is um, we work nationwide and we work with school districts and police departments and communities and try and take a, a community collaborative approach to school safety and the issues surrounding youth violence. Um, we like to partner with, with as many agencies, as many government agencies, as many private agencies as we can. Um, early on, we were lucky enough here to uh, partner with both the Center for Rural Development and the Rural Tribal Border Center that was housed out of this building. And they came with a clear mission to us to provide some quality training to small and rural agencies that, that may not have the opportunity to, uh, to travel, like many agencies today because of uh, budget crunches, to travel to a lot of our national conferences. Um, so hopefully we can put together a, a great program together for you. And um, the people here that I'm going to introduce to you are just great people. Work with so many government agencies, and this has been uh, some of the greatest people uh, to work for. So I know this will be a rousing success. They've provided much value for every day. Um, that's something that we usually don't do in the program, but uh, just another addition that we have. Um, and just real quickly, for the people that are walking around, the, the new executive director, Dave Mava, um, he's standing up right there. If you have a chance, go over and talk to these people. Uh, Kim Ellis. Who is standing right out there, uh, the young lady that has really put everything on, uh, and the person that we first spoke to, that first approached us on it, that really had the insight that you can tell when you speak to him, take some time, introduce yourself, uh, that really has a passion both for this area, uh, for the cause, gave us a clear direction, and is generally probably one of the nicest people that, that we've met in government is uh, Lonnie Lawson, and I'm going to call him up here in a little bit. He's going to give you the official welcome for the center. And Lonnie, be before you speak, I'd actually like to present you with this plaque on behalf of the School Safety Advocacy Council. And it reads, a 2000 level uh, presidential citation presented to the Center for Rural Development, Somerset, Kentucky, for all your commitment to our nation's youth and the school safety throughout, through the hosting of the Rural Conference on School Safety, presented this day. <coughs> Well, I wasn't expecting an award this morning, I will tell you that. Uh, my name is Lonnie Lawson, I'm CEO of the Center for Rural Development, and I want to welcome you to the Center, I want to welcome you to Somerset. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and I attended uh, a school safety conference in Florida last year, sat down with Sean and Kurt, and really talked about the possibilities of bringing an, an event like that to Somerset. I was met with uh, great enthusiasm on the opportunity to do that, and so the culmination of all of that planning over the last year has actually paid off, and so I'm thrilled that we've actually been able to put this conference together. We have people registered from 13 states, which says a great, great deal about the need for this type of conference. Every time I see a school incident, it just, uh, you know, just horrifies me because we should be able to protect our kids. And that's really the thing that I really wanted to emphasize here is we send our kids off to get an education. We've got to provide a safe environment for them to be uh, housed and have that education. So I do want to thank Sean and Kirk for bringing this here. Right, my name is Sean Burke and I'm the president of the School Safety Advocacy Council. And um, we're here today in beautiful Kentucky and we're at SRTB and we're hosting the Rural School Safety and Technology Conference which is uh, a very very important uh, program because when we travel the country uh, our biggest request is for training. Uh, there are districts, there are police departments that are just starving for training and starving for the knowledge that'll, that'll help them deal better with the daily things that they face. The bad side of that is that budgets are not big enough to reflect the training needs. And especially in these hard times, in these economic times, uh, the first thing that departments, whether a school district or a police department goes after, is they go after a training budget, what they consider non-essential as a patrol or teachers. Uh, they go after a training budget. And what that does is that it really limits um, employees' ability or people that are protecting our children's ability to really learn what's out there and really learn how to deal with 
uh, things that they face on a daily basis. And, and the bad part is that just translates to our children being less safe, whether it's in the community or whether it be in the school. So that, that is the big problem. And the greatest part of this program is that it's tuition free. And you can tell the great need in this area is that we have over 130 people registered. We have 13 different states represented. It. So it's not just Kentucky, it's just not this area, it's the whole uh, United States that really needs this training. So we do have, like I said, 13 other states that have traveled here um, to receive the tuition free training, which is really, really a necessity. Um, especially in today's economy. Okay, I'm Kurt Lavarello and I'm the Executive Director with the School Safety Advocacy Council and we are the host here at the Rural School Safety Conference in Somerset, Kentucky. Um, it's a great honor to be here first of all, but you know when we look at school crime and the potential for school violence across the country, certainly rural America jumps out to the forefront of that with a number of shootings and a number of incidents that have occurred on our schools in rural America. It's increasingly important that schools that sit in rural communities across the country know and understand their vulnerability is high, perhaps even higher than that of larger cities in the country when it comes to school critical incidents. Um, some of the areas we're focusing on as a national uh, organization is uh, the influx of bullying complaints and the, uh, the, the amount and the, what's happening with bullying across the country uh, with young kids who are not only going home and cre creating uh, potential home problems and community problems, but kids who are taking their own lives as a result of bullying at school or perhaps even taking the lives of other students if they feel victimized. So it's certainly a focus of our efforts, you know, with our council. Uh, the other areas we're looking at are, are uh, the influx of violence at special activities, uh, football games, basketball games, dances. And oftentimes when we go out across the country, schools are not prepared to deal with those special incidents. So we try to give schools the tools, and that's a lot of what we're doing here this week, is trying to give schools and the administration and local law enforcement some of the tools they need. And I think one of the biggest things we can give them to bring back is communication, to make sure they're communicating. I would say probably the biggest gap in school safety in the country is the failure to communicate with all the first responders. And we're hoping that they pick that up, they take some of the other tools we're bringing here to them, back to their schools and communities, and, and really make effort to keep kids safe. My name is Larry Ball. I'm the Executive Director of the Kentucky Law Enforcement Council, and I'm a member of the Constituency Advisory Group. Um, I think our position as an advisory group is to be able to connect uh, practitioners with subject matter experts so we get the, the information to people that, needed to be, that need the information and I think that's our strong point as a group and as SBRT. Well, I think it's outstanding. First, we've got a wonderful facility that you operate out of here. Secondly is, is Kentucky is uh, centrally located in the country and it doesn't surprise me that we have 13 states represented here and that just tickles me. As a matter of fact, as I mentioned to you, I kind of looked at license plates from being an old policeman. I looked in the parking lot when I came in, I was tickled. Okay, my name is Kevin Saberic. I'm a sergeant at the Salisbury Township Police Department in Pennsylvania and uh, my job is I'm uh, I command our special uh, response group and uh, I was out in San Diego at the rural uh, conference in the spring and brought it back to my department of what the, the offerings that they have and the trainings uh, through the center and uh, we decided to come down here. Our sergeant that's in charge of our school resource officer and the school resource officer for uh, Salisbury came down and um, when I expose them to the training that the center has to offer. Uh, what I like about it is it's geared to the smaller agencies and kind of focuses towards uh, the challenges that we face. And uh, we're just looking for the opportunity to, to take advantage of everything that the center has to offer. I said being part of it out in San Diego, I, uh, we really think that uh, there's a lot of uh, opportunities for us to get training that uh, not, are not necessarily available in our area, but through the Department of Justice, we've seen things that uh, would really benefit us, and we're just looking to take uh, advantage of what we can and be in the loop. I think the top school safety is the inner, the uh, 
the internet problems and the technology problems of bullying is, is one thing that is, is an emerging thing that I think police have to be on top of. Uh, as always, uh, the weapons, active shooter, are just continue to be uh, stuff that we have to be on top of and one step ahead of the emerging threats. And uh, I think the, con the cooperation, which is something that just goes uh, with any problems facing the police departments, is that we have to be on the same page with whatever agency that we're dealing with in the, in the public sector. Hello, I'm Cloyd J. Bumgardner. I'm with the Somerset Independent School District located in Somerset, Kentucky. I'm very happy to be here at the Center for Rural Development today for this very important conference. Well, as the, um, as the speakers are saying, uh, we need to be concerned about gangs, terrorism, uh, we need to be concerned about bullying in our schools. Uh, these are all topics that we take very seriously in the school system and we're working very, very hard to uh, make sure they do not become an issue in our schools. And I'm very happy that they are addressed here at the Center for Rural Development today. Of course, Kentucky is a very central location for much of our nation, and the Center for Rural Development is such a strong technology complex. Uh, I think it's an absolute uh, benefit to Kentuckians and surrounding states and states further, uh, further west and further in every direction uh, across the country. Uh, the Center for Rural Development is one of the premier technology centers in the world, and we are very, very happy to have visitors uh, from locations uh, outside our state to come and visit us. So I think it's a tremendous benefit. I'm Wanda Johnson. I'm the Safe Schools Coordinator for Pulaski County Schools here in Somerset, Kentucky. And um, this event is a very, I think, enlightening event. It's a great opportunity to bring law enforcement and school officials together so that we can all discuss the emerging trends and concerns that are in schools today. I think, um, personally, I think one of the biggest concerns that schools need to address is they're exercising in drills and working with first responders um, and getting everything down uh, uniformly and um, succinctly. Uh, this is a wonderful opportunity to just uh, network with those officials and to set up you know, times to do the type of trainings in the school. It's a great opportunity. We, this is a national training and uh, we're very fortunate to have this in our area.